What is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard with Ed. Uh, first things first, I'd like to say thank you all for the spam messages as always. In every LMS, I get spam messages over and over about stuff. Uh, you know, so I, I, I won't like share the messages because I know my inbox is full right now, but I'll go ahead and uh, show some other stuff out here. I know we got, obviously, a lot of people want to join the team now. Um,. Uh, yeah, let me uh, read this one real quick. So congrats, Skittles. I know somebody wanted to make the video, so let me see if I can find him. I know he wanted to make it. Uh, it's not Brian. Yo, I'll follow you on Twitter. Wait, did they? Oh, okay. Damn, apparently it's a curse. Cool. You write another one message? If you have sips, obstacles. Right, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks. Uh... And the mode that you could uh, do. Because, uh, you know, there's not... <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, this guy is hilarious. Uh, I'll read his crap later. Uh, who wanted to... Oh, there's another Edward out there. Hey. <laughs> All right. Uh, who wanted to... Stuart. I think it was Stuart. Oh, there you go, Stuart. You've been one of the videos, man. So, yeah. Uh, also, guys, if you can, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You could be entered into probably next week's giveaway. I'm going to probably do another giveaway next week. You can actually join my team possibly and get a TBG reward and a possible. We'll probably we'll do the ring domination as well, team ring dom. So if you guys want to make sure you are a subscriber, you need to have that. Uh, and then, of course, don't forget to like the video as always because that really does help me out. And, of course, hit that notification bell so you know when I go uh, pretty much live with a video. So, yeah, thank you for all these messages. I literally have been spammed, like, nonstop. I'm sorry that I have replied late to a lot of you guys. Yesterday, I was out all day, even though I was in the top 50 to top 70 most of the day. I was outside all day doing stuff that I had to do uh, work. I had to go all the way to the new place in the Bronx. And then uh, I had to take Bam Bam to the vet for his annual crap. So, literally, it's been a busy, busy, busy day. Uh, so let's just get into LMS for you guys. You know, I know you guys are asking me for some tips and stuff. So right now I'm currently ranked 28. Um, spent so far around 6,000, I don't know, six six three, I'd say. Uh, started like around 10 something. Uh, I'm around six six three probably. So overall, not bad. Now tips and tricks. Right now where I am, I'm currently in arena 58. If I remember correctly, yeah, 58. And we have 11 obstacles. I do have some reveals on blocks because I do grind outside. And it really does help, man. The, you can truly see an improvement. Double picks right now in this mode. So in this part, I know a lot of people are asking like around six obstacles, seven obstacles, eight obstacles. And then, the, of course, the dreaded nine obstacle one, which you only have to do one time this time. There's no longer five times you have to do that. It's just one. So bless Supercard for that. So my tips to you guys is find the obstacles first and then go on a streak. That is my best advice. So if you have six, find two obstacles, reveal, and have a block streak. You win, go all the way. All those points, never bank unless you have to. But if you have a good deck, streak it the whole way. If you have seven obstacles, find three, reveal three, block one in that order. Then, of course, if you have eight obstacles, reveal four, block, and reveal the other three. There you go. Streak the whole way. And you can hit sometimes. Sometimes you can hit massive amount of points. You can go between five to about 12K in points, depending on how lucky you are when it comes to getting the obstacles. And like as of right now, if I accidentally get luck here, which I haven't been really lucky in these arenas right now. I've been really, really been hitting these freaking... I haven't really been hitting the obstacles. I'm hoping to hit it in this video. You'll see me get 16K points because right now I'm at 11 obstacles, but we could use two reveals and two blocks after uh, Arena 48. You go up to two reveals and two blocks. So uh, 47 will be the hard one for you guys. That's where it's nine obstacles and you have to leave one on the board. And I believe 73, it happens again, but you have to leave two obstacles on the board. So give or take range. This... You want to have two and two reveals, which is six, and then two blocks is eight. You have 11. So what you want to do is find three obstacles right away. 
do not reveal, do not block, because you want all the obstacles possible. So let's try to search for these three obstacles. I always go for the corners and in the middle because that's where you find the most obstacles. There's one, we need two more. Hopefully I can get two more in a row. The odds are very low though. As you can see, we never really hit it to be fair. Uh, we'll go ahead with Naomi here. Now, if you guys are gonna lose a game, recommend you close out your game and then you know you could get a, a, a rematch for a different card. However, if you're already in the game, sometimes you're screwed when it comes to the Divas match because that Diva stats will not change. And if that Diva is way overpowered than you, you're screwed. You can't win that match. Don't even bother closing out the game. Just take the L. Move on. Uh, so far, we're in a bad streak. If you hit like four cards, I say just give up. Kill yourself. No point of continuing because you're, you're just losing thousands of points per card, basically. You are really losing a lot of points. Right now, I've lost about maybe 3,000-something points already by selecting the correct cards over and over. So I might just throw this game for you guys. I might throw it because I just can't deal with losing all those points. Now, I don't really bank until unless, unless I get up to like 600 points. Right now, this game has been very unlucky for me. So I'm going to lose this one on purpose now because I've already hit that limit of not gaining a lot of points for this video purpose i will probably spend 100 credits for you guys and there you go i lost the game right there so i'm just gonna go ahead and lose this one on purpose uh, i didn't pay attention to that but i'm gonna lose this game anyways because i've hit too many obstacles in a row so let me just lose this game and spend the 100 credits i don't mind spending the 100 credits to show you guys of how you could get more points for this well and this is then this is a streak where you hit every damn obstacle uh there you go watch me hit another obstacle right here and there like, I couldn't do this before, but it's like, no, no, I can't. I'll go with Finn. Maybe I could get beat, but no. Of course, Kevin Owens is going to win. Whatever. So let me just lose this one. I'll still press my luck. Maybe I might get lucky. And there's another obstacle. See, but you see how they're always together sometimes? And then, so I'm going to spend this 100 credits and hopefully pray I get three obstacles really quick. Not the start I wanted. Definitely not the damn start I wanted, but you know this game. I just I'm just not being lucky right now. You have a 40 something percent chance to hit, but I'm just not getting lucky right now. Let's try again. If I go for the middle, I feel like it's not gonna be a card. All right, there we go. I need to just hit two more. Oh come on, just give it to me already. It's not so much to ask, man. This game is frustrating. I'm telling you this right now. It is frustrating when you don't hit those damn obstacles. I'll tell you that right now. I want to hit another obstacle. If I hit two more, I'm screwed again. And there's not much I could do about it. Oh my god, man. Why is this so difficult sometimes just to hit an obstacle? When I don't want to hit an obstacle, I just tend to do it. If I hit another one, I'm just going to throw it. And I have to throw it again. This is frustrating. I'm telling you right now, this is very frustrating for me. Because I don't know why this always happens to me end the game but it just fucking does it's like the fifth time in a row now that i've hit everything i did not want to hit and it's just it's just destruction so guys i say i recommend what you do is just toss the game bank those obviously i'll be like 500 points whatever and now i'll go on an obstacle hit streak obviously because i just usually do like i don't know why it's so hard for me to hit three obstacles i just need to hit three early out of this and I, I just can't do it it's it's frustrating it really is frustrating for me uh, i might spend another 100 credits but i don't want to spend that much on just trying over and over i want to save these credits because i know i'm gonna need it in the future so i might do it one more time and that's it if i don't get in this video then i'll probably uh, record over to do another one for you guys to show you how i want how you should do it but right now my luck so far has been this is the luck I need in level 73. If I When I go to 73, this is the luck I need. I don't need this luck right now. This luck is very bad for me. Uh, I don't like it at all. This will be an obstacle, called it. And I'm sure this one on top will be an obstacle because it's right next to the card. There you go. See how it's all one-sided. So I'm going to spend this last 100 credits on this. I'm not spending another one on it. It's a waste of credits in my book. There's one early. If I can get another one right away, that'd be great. All right, we just need one more. Can we hit another obstacle? Damn it. All right, uh, not bad. We hit one early. 
So I'm not going to complain just yet. We need to hit another obstacle. There's nine more on the board. We should definitely hit one early. I don't want any bullshit. There we go. Now, let's take advantage of this. Reveal. Reveal. Block. Now, we got to remember to hit block again. We'll activate the 100 credits to get times two. Of course, I hit that at the end, right? Now, we can block. And there's only one more obstacle remaining. And it doesn't even matter if we hit it or not. I just got to make sure I don't lose the game. So, I'm going to have to focus now on the cards to make sure I don't lose the game. So, let's do this. And this is all about LMS. And in this one, I should get around 15K points. Uh, if I perfect it, I would have had 16, 17K points. But, uh, you know, I, of course, I'm not going to perfect game it because that's the way it is. Nijax can't beat us in toughness. I'll activate some support cards. And I got to watch, make sure I don't lose a game. If I lose a game, I put myself in that position of screwing up and wasting these credits. All right, power speed. This is her Lika stat, but we, we do fine. I gotta watch the males more. The males are the more costly ones. All right. I would love to save that block. Uh, power speed will go at Finn and AJ. I'd like to save the block for the next round, but if not, oh well. Tough shit. Can't save it all, baby. All right. So as long as we just keep going, speed. We'll just go at uh, this one here. Then Nia Jax should just give us the clear victory all the way to the end, no matter what with the females. Points are going up and up and up. We have one more obstacle. We have Speed Charisma. We're a stat, but we're still Gucci because Nia Jax is OPSL. That's Gucci. We're at 2,400 right now. It's kind of a little smaller than I thought it would be. We only had one card mess up, so. Oh boy. We actually could lose this one? No, we can't lose this one. I thought we could, but I just wanted to make sure. 32. We got four, five, six more cards to pick from here because one is obviously an obstacle. Now, we did not get a tag team here, but it won't matter because even with that, we're Gucci. All right, that's a W. So now we're at 4K. Just try to avoid that obstacle. I want to practice anyway on that obstacle. I kind of want to use these two, but then I know some for some reason we'll, we'll get screwed with. Uh, see, like usually you got that good tag team come out, and you want to avoid getting screwed. Lucky for me, Rusev is crap and charisma as well. All right, so now that's at ten. So we got five point two. Go with this one. Tag team. We should win this even with a compatible tag team. Let's do this, baby. All right. Now we are at 6.3 or 6.4, basically. So we should hit around 10K-ish. Plus the arena bonus for completing it. Let's go with these two. I don't think we could lose that one regardless. Because Tyler Breeze is shit. Just to be sure, I like to play out the animation in very slow-mo. Just in case. And then 7.6. There's the last obstacle, obviously. And now the final two, which will be 1,400 points. And then the next one will be 6... Uh, no, no. Uh, 15, maybe? 15-something. 15 1508. And we have cleared Arena 58, 58, which was a, a Dazzler. It cost me an extra 200, but I wanted to show you guys. There you go, 15,306 points. That I could have had another 16. If I found the obstacle right away, that would have went up to 16K. So I would have had 16, close to 17K if you had three in a row. So that's why it's so important to throw the game at the end of the day because you lose so much points for just one card as you can see one card cost me an extra 1.6 K and uh, there you go we get a gold plus pack usually we don't get crap in these packs they're all shit so don't worry about it and then you just find out what rank you are I'm currently ranked 29 obviously it's not the correct rank it's going by a different number 
because it's not updated. So I'm at 457, close to. We still are, we still are at 11 obstacles. So we'll back out real quick. So we're at four, four, five, seven, arena 59. Let's double check. Four, five, seven. There's a lot of people here who are really, really hype in the arenas right now. Uh, so 459 will put me right here, 20, 26 range. And these guys are way ahead of me in arena. So if I could just pass them, that'd be great. And yeah, so so far this uh this thing has been going well. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna finish, but we'll wait and see. Uh, I hope you guys could take these tips and tricks with you down the road at LMS. That's how you pretty much do it. And uh, it's great if you do it, learn, and then uh, you don't, you really don't need credits. You can actually do this without credits. It's possible, but yeah, if you want credits and be in the top top like 100, then I recommend you spend some credits. That's what you need to spend. Currently, I'm around 6k ish, some somewhere around there, and uh, I'm doing just fine. Uh, if you spent like 3,000 credits and you're only in the, like the top 1,000, it's like eh, I don't know about that. But 6k right now, currently spent, and we are doing fantastic. We're in the top 25, pretty much almost. So we're Gucci. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Always remember to subscribe to the channel because we do it big here uh, pretty much all the time. No matter what, the event, we go ham. That's what we do. Uh, like the video if you all enjoyed this tips and all this stuff about LMS and uh, notifications. And thank you all for the love and messages that you guys are all sending me for LMS. Uh, thanks for filling up my inbox. I probably have, will have to delete all those messages. So thank you all who messaged me. But yeah, uh, I have to clear my inbox. I'm sure I'm going to get more messages, so why not? Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. This has been a LMS fun. Uh, it's been a long-ass video. I apologize. But yeah, I just want to show you guys how LMS is and how you can best uh, get the most out of it. So guys, uh, you like, comment, subscribe. Follow my links right down below. Twitch, Twitter, all down below. Enjoy yourselves. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Have a great day and be the last man standing.